I recently switched my daily driver from the Red Magic 10 Pro to the Pixel 9 Pro XL, and I proceeded to install Graphene OS as the firmware. But when I began to work on setting up an eSIM for Google Fi, the app kept giving me the same error. It would tell me to restart the phone and try again, but then continue to fail on that specific step. After doing a bit of research, I learned that Graphene OS requires you to set some things up before you can use an eSIM. And there are some other specific settings that you'll want to change for your carrier's app as well. So let's take a look. We can use Graphene OS on just about every wireless carrier out there, but some things have to be set up properly for them to work. So, for example, we need to give the carrier's app the proper permissions so it can access the data that it needs. For me, this means the Google Fi application, but you'll want to install the app for your carrier, be it Verizon Wireless, T-Mobile, or whatever one that you have. After you have downloaded that app, we're gonna perform a long press gesture on the icon itself, and then we're gonna tap on the little eye icon so that we can dive into the app info page for this specific app. Firstly, you'll want to look in the permissions section and then give it access to SMS, your phone, and your location. It may even be a good idea to give it access to your contacts as well, but that really just depends on the carrier app itself. Sometimes they have features that can use your contacts. This next step was one that I actually ignored at first, but after I got it connected, I was able to go back here and peek into the mobile data usage section and then look for the toggle labeled unrestricted mobile data usage. This is gonna be disabled by default, but we want that on so that the carrier's app is able to communicate with the carrier's network anytime it wants. The last thing that we're gonna do is launch the settings application, and then we're gonna dive into the network and internet menu. And if you look here toward the top, you should see a toggle labeled eSIM support. This will be disabled by default as well, so you're gonna to need to enable that for us to actually download the data for our eSIM. After you have that set up, you can use your wireless carrier application to download that eSIM and set up your account. And that was all that I needed to do in order to get Graphene OS on my Pixel 9 Pro XL working properly with Google Fi. I seem to have Wi-Fi calling set up properly as well. Text messages work, phone calls work. I did notice that RCS wasn't working. The settings page for it says not supported or disconnected. And this is actually something that I read recently in the Graphene OS subreddit. So to my understanding, RCS being broken is a widespread issue with the firmware and it isn't something that can be manually fixed by the community at this time. And as always, let me know if you ran into any issues following today's guide. I appreciate you all for sticking with me to the end of this video because it really means a lot seeing so many of you watching through to the end. Please do not forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel too if you haven't done so already.